It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Ronda Rousey and Michelle Waterson. All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Rousey is 28, Waterson is 32. Rousey will have a six inch reach advantage. Now here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. It's for the first fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 16 wins, 6 losses. She stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, the Karate Hottie, Michelle Waterson. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. And we are underway. So here is the former UFC Bantamweight champion and fighting pioneer, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. You can't tell the story of women in mixed martial arts without mentioning the name Ronda Rousey. Tonight, she tries to get back to her bread and butter and what brought her to the top of the sport. Went for the inside leg kick. All right, first round is underway, and you better watch out for the overhand punches when you're fighting an opponent of this caliber. It really has become a patented punch of hers and something that a lot of opponents know is coming but still can't account for. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range here tonight. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lux. Rousey gets the takedown. Let's see how she chooses to proceed from here. Looking for the rear naked. Wants to slide that forearm under the chin to get the choke. Escape. Gets out of the full mount. She's showing some good defense here, keeping control of that arm. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Oh, reversal. Trying to take the back here. Effective strike there by Rousey. She's now back in full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. And mount again, full mount. Postures up here. Excellent movement here on the ground. She's in full mount again. Damaging strike there. She's attacking that arm. That arm looks locked up tight. Break the grip. That's it. Oh, that's it. it. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission.
Yeah, no doubt about it. That is some opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there she is, your winner by submission, and there will be no wiping the smile off her face tonight as she turns in one of the bigger highlights of her UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Rowdy! Ronda! Rousey! All right, so another seminal moment in a career chock full of them for Rowdy Ronda Rousey as she continues to celebrate there with her corner. She was at her dominant best yet again here tonight and seemingly is only getting better now at this stage of her career. That is a scary proposition for the rest of this division.